Hi there, you must be the new builder. I'm Ian, the other new builder. I just got here a week ago. Nice to meet ya. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. This way. Over here. Howdy there, I'm Yan, president of the Sand Rock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance, yada, yada, yada. I'll be overseeing you with me on. But don't... This here's Mason. He's retiring. See that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to... Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our... Com uh, well, I am now speechless. Uh, Mason, as the uh, established... Um, well, let's not get too friendly. You may find it run down and dilapidated. I believe that will suffice. May you bring Telesis to the land. Now... Well, he always was a bit awkward. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell y'all a- To start with, there are too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's- For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name and plot. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone. When you're done, just come find me in the commer- True, it is pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for ya. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. pickings, but at least he did leave you a work table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. You know, Sandrock is still well known across all free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Um, see, the reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that. But I didn't hesitate signing that contract. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Whew. Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around.
Hi there, friend. I couldn't help but notice you're doing something illegal. We are not allowed to cut down trees near the town. Oh, cutting down trees around town can have some seriously neck- Seeing as this is your first offense, I'll let it slide. But if I catch you out here chopping down public tree- Worse than that, though. Why, if I saw you chopping down trees- But don't you worry. You can find wood scrap out in the desert, buy imported wood from me, even plant- That's all, builder. Conserve water, and don't chop- Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It is the soul of a desert builder. Next, let me tell you about the recycler. It's another in- Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just- Eh, don't worry so much. You'll fix- We've met, but I don't think we've been properly introduced. Howdy! Mm-hmm. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
there you are. <laughs> no, no need to show me the recycler. I'm sure the main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult your work. So now you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder. But normally, the mayor handles registrations. But Minister Matilda's taking over administrative time. Mindlessly following order. Oh, uh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams. Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda... Who goes there? Oh, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were one of Logan's gang. <laughs> Silly me, you look nothing like an outlaw. And your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know the desert isn't kind to the fragile. Hmm. It is decided. I, the magnificent pen, splen- You know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect? People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now before we sp Come, come and attack me! <laughs> Is that all you've got? Don't tell me you skip leg day! Okay, you can swing a weapon around. <laughs> Did I just feel pain? <laughs> Don't you know any other moves? I'm getting bored. Now it's my turn! Stand still, this won't hurt much. I can read you like a book, skinny arms. Enough! I grow weary of this. Time to end this! And thus concludes the segment of my combat course titled, The first thing I would do if I were you is to go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's... Why, hello there. You must be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Light, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so if you're here, well that means you must have passed Yen's little audition. That'll do it. If you ever want to change, congratulations, Builder. Your work now, I'm not exactly known around the... Hmm, I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fires. See you then. And congratulations...
get a message from Yen saying, Emergency, come now, as well? Wonder what's the emergency? Listen here, you lazy mop stick. Me and my boys have had it up to here with your excuses. Where's our uh, lift, huh? Oh, look! Rocky, old buddy, old pal! Don't you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, and then it was your turtle beans. And today I find out you don't even got a turtle. Do you understand how much money I'm losing here? So now, I gotta give you a beatdown. Sorry, pal, but it's a company policy. Oh, uh, uh, wait, no, Rocky, no, look! Well, what I really meant is, uh, I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. Uh, uh, look, here they are. Did we come at a bad time? No, no, you came at the perfect time. Uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufala Salvage. And he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few uh, uh, months. Oh, yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. See? They're up for it. Oh. All right, Yen. Against my better judgment, I'm going to give you one more chance. Great. Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working. My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel. To Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing. If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can rough. Normally, we charge a weekly fee for it. When you're done, install it for me as well. She already drew me up a diag. Uh, my, uh. Based on this diagram. We won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use the furnace as well. Well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best. 